next module you will learn about harmful microorganisms are all the bacteria harmful no not all the bacteria are harmful most of them are either harmless or helpful the microbes that cause diseases in humans animals and plants are called pathogens how do pathogens enter our body to cause disease pathogens enter our body through the air we breathe the water we drink or the food we eat they can also be transmitted by direct contact with an infected person or animal or by eating meat prepared from an infected animal do all diseases spread through contact with an infected person only communicable diseases spread through contact with an infected person diseases like cholera common cold chickenpox tuberculosis which spread from an infected person to a healthy person through air water food or physical contact are called communicable diseases cold is a common viral transmitted disease when a person suffering from common cold sneezes fine droplets of moisture carrying thousands of viruses spread in the air the virus may enter the body of a healthy person while breathing leading to infection by using handkerchief while sneezing or coughing we can prevent the spread of infection there are a few more mosquitoes and flies keep roaming from sewage water and garbage to food carrying pathogens with them even animals such as dogs transmit disease to humans what is a carrier these insects and animals that spread pathogens are called carriers each carrier has a specific way of transmitting diseases when flies sit on garbage and animal excreta pathogens stick to their bodies when the same flies sit on uncovered food they may transfer the pathogens to the food we eat whereas female mosquitoes carry the pathogens for diseases like malaria and dengue they bite humans and transfer the pathogen into the human body making people sick how can we protect us from these communicable diseases well there are a few steps that we need to take to protect ourselves don't allow water to stagnate at any place this prevents the breeding of mosquitoes we can also reduce the mosquito population by keeping our surroundings clean and dry isolate patients suffering from communicable diseases from others people should maintain personal hygiene consume properly cooked food and use mosquito repellents what about animal and plant diseases several pathogens cause diseases in animals and plants along with humans for example anthrax caused by a bacterium is a dangerous human and cattle disease foot and mouth disease in cattle is caused by a virus 
Tuberculosis is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis and transmitted via air. Measles is caused by measles virus and the disease is transmitted through air. Chickenpox is caused by varicella zoster virus and transmitted through air and physical contact. Polio is caused by polio virus and transmitted via air and water. To prevent its spread, we need to keep the patient in complete isolation. Vaccines should be administered at the proper age. Cholera is caused by the bacterium Viprio cholera and transmitted through water or food. Typhoid is caused by the bacterium Salmonella typhi and transmitted mostly via water. To prevent its spread, we should follow personal hygiene. Consume properly cooked food and boiled water and get proper vaccination done. Hepatitis B is caused by Hepatitis B virus and transmitted through water. It can be prevented by drinking boiled water and proper vaccination. Malaria the disease caused by protozoa is transmitted by mosquitoes. It can be prevented by taking simple steps like using mosquito net and repellent while sleeping and not allowing water to stagnate near residential areas, thus preventing the breeding of mosquitoes. Many pathogens attack crop plants like sugarcane, wheat, rice, potato and orange and reduce their yield. Let's see some common plant diseases caused by pathogens and their means of transmission from one plant to another. Citrus canker is a bacterial disease seen in citrus plants like lemon. The disease is transmitted through air. Rust of wheat is a fungal disease seen in wheat plants, transmitted through air and seeds. Yellow vein mosaic of okra is a viral disease seen in okra plants, transmitted through insects. How to control the pathogens in animals and plants To control microbial infection in animals, antibiotics are mixed with the feed of livestock and poultry. Antibiotics, insecticides and pesticides are also sprayed on crop to control many plant diseases.